Hi, I'm Willie Howe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I release new content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. And if it is your first time here, I hope you'll stick around for all the tips, tricks, and tutorials that I have for you on configuring your networking, voice over IP, and security technology. And we also do other things like tool reviews. There's another one coming this week. So I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Now, what I'm going to talk about tonight <clears throat> is something that I've been getting. I've actually been getting a lot of, of questions on this, and I thought maybe we covered it before, but we didn't. But it is the default ring timeout on a grand stream phone system and what i mean by the default ring timeout is how many times or how long because in the grand stream ucm we talk about how many seconds will a phone call ring before it goes to voicemail so if i take my my phone actually we'll do this let's let's hop over to the uh the ucm so here we are, we're in, we're at extension 5000, which is the extension that I have that is over here on the desk. Now, if I take the cordless phone and I call 5000, I have not changed any settings in the UCM system. And by default, or at least my system is set up for this is going to ring for 60 seconds uh, or one minute. So that is a long time for this phone to go unanswered. Now, um, I'm trying to remember if the default is 60 or if I set that to 60 now that I've said that. But either way, I'm going to hang that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the two places in the UCM where you can change that. Now, I'm in extension 5000, and if I you scroll down, there is under uh, media, is it under media features? So under features, uh, under other settings, there is this ring timeout. So it says the number of seconds to ring the extension before forwarding the call to voicemail. You will notice this is blank. I can go in or you can go in to each extension and override this per extension. So I could set this to, I could set this to like uh, five, right? Now, Five seconds is not a lot of time. We're going to go ahead and apply that. And once it's applied, we'll go ahead and we'll call. You heard how long it, it was going before. All right, the UCM is reloading. Configuration is reloaded, which, by the way, there is a, um, a new version of the UCM software. We've got to do a configuration video on that. But I'm going to call extension 5000 again. So we got 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. So that was five seconds. It, 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 to me, it seemed a little uh, faster than five seconds, but we'll go ahead and we'll edit this again. Go over here to uh, features, go down to ring timeout, and I'm going to take that out. Now, most of the time, maybe you will have maybe a one-off extension where you're going to want to do that. But I would think that probably most of the time you're going to want to have that same setting across the entire UCM. So to do that, you go to PBX settings and right under general settings there. Oh, look at that. Um, right there. Under general settings, you see the ring timeout. Now this is a global, um, and if this is, um, if under the extensions it is not set, then the extensions fall back to this. So this is is like the default. So you can change that right there. So you can change it to 30, you can change it to 20, but you can see right here, it is set to 60. 
for me, 60 works fine because I, you know, I, I like the phone to ring for a little while before it, it goes to voicemail. But that's it. Um, and it really is that easy to go in and make that change. So, like I said, I got that question a lot in, in a real short period. So I wanted to address that. And I hope that uh, anybody who's having that issue or wants to change that timeout can use that information to do that. If you would like some more information or need some consultation on your Grandstream PBX or want to learn how Grandstream PBX can make your business or your client's business more productive, make sure that you go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If you need IT consulting for voice over IP, networking, or security, you can also fill out that same contact form. Someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That is our promise to you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the channel is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is below. And thank you to those folks. And if you'd like to buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, my Amazon link is down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. Once again, I want to thank you and tell you how much I appreciate you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.